Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video back in May of this year, 2021, reporting that Microsoft was working on a Windows 10 cloud-based PC. And in that video, I mentioned that a cloud-based PC provides a cloud-based remote Windows 10 desktop experience that can be accessed from anywhere. And I will leave a link in the description box below to that video to go check out for yourself if you are interested. Now, the latest is that uh, the Microsoft Cloud PC is now codenamed Deschutes, and it would provide an Azure-powered Windows 11 desktop to companies and enterprises. So it's also now changed from being Windows 10 to obviously Windows 11 and will mainly be focused at enterprises. Now, a promotional image of the user interface of the Cloud PC has made its way online. So if we just pop over to that image, we can see that this is not actually a screenshot. It's just a graphic um, of an image of the uh, what the uh, uh, Cloud PC could eventually look like. And it looks like it would be offered through your browser, say like Microsoft Edge. And you could also looks like you could choose from a number of saved states and configurations and instances in the Cloud PC when it eventually rolls out. Now, at the What's Next for Windows uh, live stream event on the uh, back in on the 24th of June last month when Microsoft officially announced Windows 11. It was also rumored that they were going to announce uh, the cloud-based PC as well, but that didn't happen. And now it's expected to be unveiled at its uh, Microsoft Inspire event, which is going to be held on the 14th and 15th of July this year, 2021. And that's an enterprise-focused uh, event, mainly um, directed at enterprises and companies. So at this stage, it looks like the uh, Microsoft Cloud PC will not be offered at this stage to consumers, and it's more going to be offered at um, you know the enterprise and companies. So it looks like we are going to be getting a Microsoft Cloud PC, according to recent reports. And this is, as I mentioned, it's not actually a screenshot. It's just a graphic of what it could eventually look like. And this has made its way online. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching. And I will see you in the next one.